Shante is with us in Detroit, Michigan. Hey, Shante, how are you? Hi, Dave, how are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Great. Um, Thank you so much for taking my call. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm calling in because I've read the Total Money Makeover. I've gone through SPU, and I'm still in debt after five years. And Why? um, Why? Because I think we we definitely need more income coming into our house. Okay. Um, We own our home. What's your your household income? uh, $50,000. Okay. And how much debt did you have when you started? Um, I don't remember because we actually um, did a bankruptcy, and oh. so everything was wiped out except for our student loans. Mm-hmm. So and, how much um, student loan debt? So do you, how much? How much debt do you have now? Seventy thousand. Okay, and you make fifty. Okay, and yeah. the seventy thousand is what? All student loans? No, fifty-five of it is uh, student loans. What's the other fifteen? Um, we owe 2500 left on our car, mm-hmm. a $300, um, uh, credit card. Um, we weren't able to pay our, um, insurance, so we owe them and, um, we're behind on our, um, electric bill, $2,500. You um, still not got me anywhere near 15. Yeah, I don't, uh, medical bills as well. We've had two, two kids in, okay. in between there. Okay. So you're not living on a budget. You're not living on a plan. No, we, we are living on a budget. I do a budget every single week. But, then why um, would you be behind on your electric bill? Because I, I don't I don't understand either what's going on. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know. Okay. All right. Are you married? Yes. Okay. Does your husband participate in this discussion? Not really. Okay. All right. I, I keep asking him to you know sit yeah. down and do a budget with me. He's like, okay, I trust you. So how much and- is your rent? Um, we, we own our home. How much is your payment? We, it, it's paid in full. It's paid off? Yes. And you make $50,000 a year and you got behind on your electric bill? Exactly. I, How would you it, possibly it have a plan? Wait a minute. You, you don't have a plan because no one would plan to have no, a paid-for house that. and be behind on their light bill. That right. had to be done by disorganization. Yeah. I mean, there, that, that can't be an intentional organizational act to intentionally no. be behind on my light bill. No. That it, would be one of the first things you pay. Month, yeah. I mean, so let, let's do a budget, okay? Let, let's okay. lay down what your income is, which is, you know, you make about $4,200 a month uh, gross, which means your take-home pay should be in the neighborhood of $3,500, okay? That should be okay. what you have to work with a month coming home. Well, it's it's, it's more like um, six, it's more like um Wait, six hundred times three, and then oh goodness. that's eighteen. I don't know it's more like three thousand, maybe twenty five hundred a month. I don't know why it. Okay, see, it we don't even know like how what our income is, so you're not doing a budget. You didn't tell me the truth. I I know it. I know it per week. I just don't know it all okay. together. Okay. I don't. I don't do a monthly one. I do a weekly one. Right. Well, you're supposed and, to be and, doing and, a monthly one, and yeah, a, and that, a week. You, you have to do it monthly, okay. and you have to do it weekly. Okay. The first okay. thing you buy out of your budget is food. Right. The second thing you buy is utilities mm-hmm. before you do anything else. The right. third thing you buy is house payment. You don't have a house payment, so all you've got is right. insurance and taxes to keep from losing it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. and so all you're doing is you're making a solid list here of where your money's going to go every week, and you make the money go that way. And you grab mm-hmm. Bubba by the ear, and you drag him to the table and sit him down and say, man up, I need some help. I've been working on this okay. five years. I feel like a rat in a wheel, and I need your help. We're going to okay. work on this together. We're going to fix this. Okay. All right? Because, you know, you're not making a ton of money, but you're, you, like you said, you're getting further behind. And the reason you're getting further behind is you haven't done any of the things we taught you in Financial Peace University. Hmm. You're not doing your written budget. You're not working together with your husband. You're not prioritizing your spending. I know this because of the the data you've just given me in the conversation. I'm not fussing at you, but I'm coaching you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you called me, so you knew this was coming. <laughs> no, that was fine. I knew you were going to give it to me like, like I needed to hear, so that's fine. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm so tired of I got of my this, arm like, around you, but I'm going to kick your butt. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, we, we keep having vehicle issues, too. That's another thing, mm-hmm. unexpected, that, you yeah, know, because yeah. we, we have a $2,500 truck that mm-hmm. we keep having to pump money into. And mm-hmm. the other vehicle that we're still, we still owe money on, the engine doesn't work, so mm-hmm. we can't even use it. 
Okay. But we're still paying for it. We need to develop a game plan for each one of these things and mm-hmm. start addressing them as we can address them, as fast as we can address them. But you don't ever mm-hmm. need to be behind on your food or your lights again when you make $50,000 okay. a year and you don't have a house payment. Ever. I, I don't know how to get caught up on it now. Like I said, well, how like, much do you owe? Oh, 2500 $2, Okay. All right. Well, I, I know how to get caught up. 1000 <laughs> this month and 1500 next month. Okay. Because it's first. Somebody else may right. not get paid, but by God, the lights are getting paid. Right. I'm going to pay them. You're going to eat, and we're going to catch the lights up in the next two months. And we're going to pay a few of these other things, but that's about it. Because you can't mm-hmm. have your dad and gum utilities cut off, kiddo. Right. No, I know. I know. Because you know, he, here's what happens. For one little thing breaks, like the car. And mm-hmm. then there's a medical thing. And then there's another thing. And then there's another thing. And then there's another thing. And, and these crises start piling up, and they've gotten piled so high now that we're down to we don't pay the lights. And mm-hmm. so what ends up happening is, is you have so much freaking stress on what you're in the mm-hmm. situation you're describing that it paralyzes you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you were doing for someone, if, if, if you walked up to someone else, you went through Financial Peace University five years ago. If one of mm-hmm. your friends came over and dumped a shoebox of bills in your, on your uh, kitchen table, you could work mm-hmm. right through their situation because mm-hmm. you're not stressed out about their situation. And you're smart mm-hmm. enough to do math. I mean, this is not hard. This is not this is sixth grade math. You can do it. Mm-hmm. But but the problem is you've just been carrying this all by yourself emotionally because your husband's not been participating. It's gotten disorganized and stress upon stress upon stress upon stress following a bankruptcy, following two kids. I mean, it's just piled up on you and it paralyzed you. Mm-hmm. And, and so... Um, so you ended up because of the desperation, making some bad decisions. And that's just, that doesn't mean you're dumb. It just means you're human. So it's time Mm -hmm. to get organized and split this up and say, okay, how are we going to eat this elephant a bite at a time? We got to address these truck, this truck. We got to address this light bill. We got to get these medical bills straightened out. Which one's first, which one's second, which one's third? Who's working extra? Let's have a garage sale. What are we doing? Let's get back in financial peace university and get our batteries charged again. Go back through. It's free. Go back through you and your husband and get a class started. I'll put you on hold. Kelly, I'll help you find a class. You get plugged back into a class. And if you need a new kit or something to plug back in, because it's it sounds like you went through an older system, we'll put you back in again. I want you to, I want you to win. But you're going to have to grab this thing by the throat and choke it until you get it under control, because it's whipping you right now. And, and it's time for you to get back on top and start winning again. I mean, you, this thing's got it's got its foot on your neck. And it's time for you to say, no, 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 money, you're going to behave. Money, you're going to do what I tell you to do. And if somebody doesn't get paid this month because we're working something that's more important, well, so be it. Can't pay that medical bill this month. Why? Because I'm broke. That's why. I paid other stuff that was more important than you. And that's what you tell them. And you'll get to them. You'll get to them. And you'll get Bubba out there with some overtime and some other people with some extra jobs. And you'll start selling a car with the engine that doesn't work. And you'll have a garage sale. And you'll get on a dadgum track. And you can you can crack the whip on this and turn it around. But this is about you leaning into the details in the process. So hold on. Kelly will pick up. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. Kelly, um, hook her up. She needs somebody to help her unpack this. See if we've got a coach in the area. And if we got a coach in the area, I'll pay for that too. We'll pay for the coach to sit down with her and help her unpack. But Hub, Bubba's got to come. Husband's got to come. Okay? I'm not I'm not playing with her just doing this by herself. They've both got to be in the game. If they're both in the game, I'll pay for the coach, too. That's the deal. Hold on. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show. You are not a victim. You're not a victim of big corporations. You're not a victim of Wall Street. You're not a victim of capitalism. You're not a victim of wealth inequality. You're not a victim of racism. You're not a victim.